Near Venus, Philip and his men board a science vessel the Hasami and kill the crew for noticing rogue asteroids that shouldn't be there. On Tycho Station, the Rossi is being repaired under Naomi's watchful eye when Fred Johnson tells her that he has found her son Philip. Being in a desperate state, she grabs her stuff and leaves the same day, leaving Holden behind. Holden is approached by Monica, who asks him about whether some of the proto-molecule still exists and continue to tell him that it is rumored that some of it is still in the belt. After doing an illegal weapons deal, Bobby, with financial support from Avasarala, starts to suspect the involvement of Mars' high-ranking military on the black market. Back on Tycho, Holden confronts Johnson about the protomolecule research he is doing and warns him that the protomolecule builders were wiped out by something, and the same thing can happen to humanity if they continue using the protomolecule. On Luna, Avasarala is informed by Admiral Delgado that a belter ship was seen near the Hasami's destruction, while Marco observes the rogue asteroids, which are all headed for Earth. Somewhere in the belt, Drummer and her crew establish their positions as serious pirates when they stumble upon the Tynan, Ashford's ship. Finally reaching his destination on Earth, Amos visits the home of his now-dead former mentor slash mother, Lydia. When he arrives, Charles, Lydia's partner, opens the door and calls him Timothy. They then share memories of her before Amos leaves to meet Eric. On Tycho, Holden finds out that Monica has gone missing, while Bobby and Alex begin to suspect Admiral Salvatier of selling stealth missiles on the black market. To get close to Salvatier, Alex meets Lieutenant Babbage and they decide to meet up later for coffee. During a meeting on Luna, Avasarala informs Secretary General Gao about the Hasami, stolen stealth tech from Mars and the possible link with Marco Inaros, but Gao brushes her off. Back on Earth, Amos meets with Eric, a local crime lord and his childhood friend, who reveals that Amos's real name is Timothy and that Timothy killed the real Amos and took his identity. After a long search, Holden and Bull finally find Monica, who was locked up in a cargo container. Acting on their suspicion, Avasarala and Delgado have an independent scientist confirm that the rogue asteroids were covered in stealth. With Bobby feeding her intel that Mars is selling stealth tech, Avasarala is convinced that Marco is the buyer and is gunning for Earth. After finding out from Monica that Cortazar, a protomolecule scientist, was kidnapped, Fred and Holden know that the same people will come after Fred's protomolecule. On the Titan, Drummer finds Ashford's recording of Marco, in which Marco talks about throwing rocks at Tycho and Ceres and sends the recording to Fred Johnson. Meanwhile, Alex meets with Babbage, who is actually sent by Salvatier to find out what Alex knows. When Naomi arrives on Palace Station for her son, she is welcomed by Sin, while Carol is less happy. When she and Philip then meet, he is angry with her for leaving him behind and kidnaps her. Back on Luna, Avasarala and Delgado have failed to convince Gao about Marco's attack, due to lack of proof. Just when she's about to leave her office, Avasarala receives Ashford's recording and realizes that Marco is planning to hit Earth. But it is too late. The first asteroid has just hit Earth. Before leaving the planet, Amos visits Clarissa in an underground prison, but the ground above them is then hit with another asteroid. Avasarala contacts Gao and finally convinces her that Marco Inaros is behind the attacks and she should link the Watchtower satellites which can penetrate stealth to the asteroid spotters. Just after Gao gives the order to do so, her plane is caught in the energy blast of a third asteroid attack, presumably killing everyone on board. Meanwhile on Tycho Station, Fred and Holden set a trap for the people who kidnapped Monica and Cordazar. But they are betrayed by Sakai, who kills Fred and has the protomolecule sample in his room stolen to the Zemea, a belter ship. However, together with Monica, Holden captures her. Philip takes Naomi to the Pella, Marco's warship. Once there, Marco shows her the attacks on Earth and celebrates their victory before having Philip lock up Naomi. He then broadcasts a system-wide message to everyone that he and his free navy were behind the attacks and have the last remaining protomolecule sample, which he will use as a weapon if Earth or Mars should retaliate. After receiving an invitation from Marco, Drummer and her crew decide to meet him, while Holden and Bull find out where the Zemea is thanks to Monica and are planning to follow it with the Rocinante. On Earth, Amos and Clarissa are trapped in the underground prison, but manage to escape with the help of another inmate and some of the guards. Once above ground, they see that they are surrounded by destruction from the asteroid impact. 
On the Pella, Naomi discovers that the Rossi is sabotaged and warns Holden to not start a reactor just before she is recaptured. After following Babbage on her ship, the Barkeith, Bobby and Alex witness her selling Martian warships to Marco Inaros' free navy. They are then spotted but manage to escape. With the presumed death of Nancy Gao, David Pastor becomes the acting secretary general and asks Avasarala for help. After clearing the Rossi, Holden, Bull and Monica depart on their mission to find the Zemea, while Drummer and her crew finally arrive on the Pella. Marco offers them to join his free navy, as many other factions have done, but Drummer is angry at him for killing Ashford and Fred and causing a war with Earth and Mars. Marco claims that it was all done to free the Belters. Drummer's crew decides to join the Free Navy and Marco and Drummer exchange one person of each crew, with Corral joining Drummer's crew. Meanwhile on Earth, Amos and Clarissa decide to go to Baltimore, where he can protect her. Forced to go through the forest, they come upon a man who is about to kill Amos, but gets killed by Clarissa using her aggressor implants. Having lost the Zemeas trail, Holden, Bull and Monica all agree that they should destroy the protomolecule sample when they retake it. Alex then contacts them to meet on Tycho, with Holden replying that he can't because he's searching for the protomolecule. They exchange the information they have both gathered at this point, including Naomi being taken by Marco and Mars selling weapons and ships to the Free Navy, and continue their missions. Holden and Monica theorize that the Martians whom are selling the weapons to Marco probably want the protomolecule and Cortazar in return. They then find the Zemea and win the ensuing fight, but before they can board, the Zemea suddenly destroys itself. On the Pella, Marco reveals to Naomi that he will let her go after he has destroyed the Rossi by luring it to Naomi's ship, the Chetsamoka, which is set to blow. When the Chetsamoka and the Pella separate, Naomi, in a desperate attempt to save the Rossi, jumps into space without protection and makes it just in time into the Chetsamoka. However, Sin, who was following her to save her life, dies from asphyxiation when the airlock is opened. Back on Earth, Amos and Clarissa decide that they need to find a ship to leave for Luna, but first they need allies. When arriving in Baltimore, they meet up with Eric and together with him and his men head for an island, where according to Clarissa, they can find a ship. With the Zemea destroyed, Holden plots a course for Alex and Bobby, while Naomi finds out that the Chetsamoka is broadcasting a fake distress signal of her as a trap for Holden. Bobby and Alex pick up the fake distress call and send it to Holden. On Luna, the UN, under their new leader Pastor, is having a security council meeting, but are undecided whether to attack the Belter stations, because if they would, all Belters will rally behind Marco. Delgado explains to Pastor that they should attack Palace Station because he needs to retaliate somehow and Marco is using his civilians as a human shield. After Corral informs Marco that Naomi's distress signal has changed, he realizes that she is still alive, with Bobby and Alex and Holden hurrying to reach her. On Earth, Amos and the rest reach a mansion on the island and find themselves a ship, but a malfunctioning one. Meanwhile, Avasarala finds out that Pastor attacked Palace Station and tells him, Delgado and the rest of the Security Council that war is not the way to go and resigns. However, many ministers agree with her and Pastor is forced to step back after a no confidence vote, with Avasarala being elected as the new Secretary General. Now knowing that Naomi is still alive and with Holden coming to save her, Marco orders Drummer's fleet with two other ships to intercept and destroy the Rossi. Back on Earth, Amos fixes the ship and after a brutal fight with other survivors, he and his friends managed to leave the planet. Having seen the hunting party Marco has sent to destroy the Rossi, Holden contacts Bobby and Alex, who are on the Razorback, to save Naomi, while he, Bull and Monica will buy them some time by engaging the free navy ships. However, before the Belter ships can attack the Rossi, Drummer switches allegiance and attacks the free navy instead. In the ensuing chaos, Corral is killed by Drummer's crew and together with the Rossi, they destroy the hostile Belter ships. On the Chetsamoka, Naomi realizes she cannot dismantle the bomb on the ship and in order to save the nearing Razorback, she puts on a spacesuit and jumps into the vastness of space. Bobby and Alex spot her, with Bobby using her Goliath suit to save her, but when they return, they realize that Alex has died from a stroke caused by the high G burns he had to pull to save Naomi. Together with Bobby and Naomi, the Rossi goes to Luna, where Amos awaits them and has Clarissa join the Rossi crew. At a party there, Monica reveals that one of the Zemea's torpedoes got away and possibly contained the protomolecule. 
Just then, they witness Marco's free navy, together with the rogue Martian navy, take over the ring gate and go through it. Now in control of Medina Station and all the rings, Marco gives Admiral Salvatier the Laconia system to settle on. When Cortazar contacts the Admiral and tells him of the progress he has made with the proto molecule. But when the Barkeet enters the ring, the ship along with Salvatier and Babbage are seemingly erased from existence by the same phantoms that have wiped out the ring builders in a very distant past.